Now, the Brody James situation is taking over the internet because uh, a lot of people think this guy doesn't deserve to be in the NBA, but apparently he does. Uh, his dad is LeBron James, and a lot of people are making memes about it, and the memes are getting aggressive, people. So get ready for this one. We're going to go over some of the craziest ones I've seen from this whole situation, and we'll talk about if they're actually valid or not. Are they needed? Drafted 55th pick overall, undrafted, and you can see the drastic difference in their stats. An obviously better player and the son guy, of lebron pal, james me, oh bron i'm open i'm open bro hit me bro bro yeah we, we really about to do this nah, again. i don't think you call him bron do you yo pops can you pass me the basketball please we don't got no cereal back here this ain't regular show it ain't no pops on the team og i'm, I'm open in the corner og if you og pass the ball please i'm a nobi on the knicks come on y'all your boys chill out man dad can you please pass me the basketball i'm dad. wide open nah dad Hey, Bronny, what you be calling me at home? Daddy, I'm open. <laughs> yo, yo, just let the kid be. Just, just let the guy be, people. Just let him be, all right? He's a young guy. His dad wants to play with him. Bronny works very hard. I've seen this guy in the gym grinding, trying to make a name for himself. Not just the son of LeBron James. And hopefully he doesn't call his dad daddy on the field, all right? Too much excitement makes it obvious. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I will watch Bronny James play when he drops the snow bunny. I don't support black men who date out the race. So until Bronny James stops bunny hopping, I can't do it. I'm happy for him and his father, though. If Bronny James stops bunny hopping, if he doesn't stop bunny hopping, I can't support that. No snow bunnies. Daddy! And also, I know you're my father, and I love and appreciate everything that you did. But in this locker room and on the court, I'm calling you LeBron. No, you're not. I'm calling you LeBron. No, you're not. I'm calling no, you LeBron. No, you know what, your son, this is your moment. I love you, son. You do whatever you do, man. What's up, about Rafa? They don't take me serious, man. What they do take you serious? No, they don't. Who? Who say that? Who don't take you serious? Who say that? Say that? I'm not What's Dino? Dino? No. Dino? 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 Now, obviously, the meme will take over the internet. That's what the internet does. LeBron James' son, Bronny James, will have to bear this nightmare of being a meme for the NBA, for the sports world, for the next maybe two, three years, all right? Now, hopefully, Bronny does something great in the NBA because all of this has been underlooked or overlooked by the internet. All this greatness that we're seeing from LeBron James being the dad that he is, we have people on the internet, the minor majority, the intelligent majority, they're sitting there and actually applauding the greatness of LeBron James because of the feat that he just accomplished by playing with his son in the NBA. I don't care about points. I don't care about stats. I don't care about titles. I don't care who you think is the GOAT. I don't care who I think is the GOAT. I don't care about none of that. This man been alive for 39 years. He been outside the NBA for 18 of them and inside the NBA for 21 of them. He been in the NBA for more years than he's not been in the NBA. Think about that. To go all that time, to get your son to be good. And then to get your son to even make it to the NBA and then be good enough to still have stroke to get your son to play on the team with you? Okay, stroke is a little crazy, but what this guy is saying makes a lot of sense. LeBron James is a great father for being able to do that for his son, for being able to accomplish something like this, all right? Like raising your kid to go to the NBA and doing it whilst you're in the NBA, keeping your health at a high level while being that great of a dad is absolutely phenomenal. We got to give that to LeBron James here, people. How you boys? All good, man. It's a video, man. Yeah. Your, your son, right. he can hoop off. You got a chance. You got a chance. You got a chance. I mean, if you stay where he at right now, along this path, you got a chance. Here's the, here's the question. I told somebody this like a year ago. How, how old are you? I'm, I'm 33. He's 13. 
Dude, six years. What did you and your son oh, play together? Oh, my God. By the way, are you going to be able to, you're going to stay that long to play? By the way, if he has a chance and it seems like he can make it, what? Got to. Got to. Got to do the gripping. No, you got to do it. Yeah, LeBron always wanted his boy to play in the league with him. And look at that, man. Just dreams after dreams, bro. Who doesn't want to have the dream fairy of LeBron James? Literally everything this man wanted, he got. Literally, bro. If he plays with Bryce, I'm getting outside and I'm running the marathon, bro. This is actually insane. Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. Uh, we drafted Bronny James in the first round. And I'll be honest with you, it was fucking nepotism. You have to understand that JJ and I didn't want to pick him, but LeBron didn't give us a choice. He told us either the Lakers pick Bronny or he would demand a trade to the Celtics. Uh, LeBron said he'd go for a three-peat with Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Now, even with all the memes, Bronny really didn't give a fuck, let's be honest, about this whole draft process. Because at the end of the day, bro had a backup plan. He had actually three backup plans, all right? You could sign up for the NBA draft. Um, if that doesn't work out, you can go to college. Or you can choose not to go to college, but you could also become a streamer. And another one is if you don't want to do any of that, you can just sign for face and be a gamer. But you can also choose the last option, and that is to do nothing with your life and still be comfortable and never have to work a day in your life. Bronny James has all of those options, but he's choosing the NBA. He's choosing the NBA, and that's what shows me that this kid actually cares. Because being the son of LeBron James doesn't mean you have nepotism. It doesn't just mean that. It also means you have the option to not give a fuck about the NBA. It means you have the option to not try, to not put in the effort, to not be the man that you can be, to not reach your full potential. And to see Bronny actually trying to make a name for himself is honestly inspiring and applaudable. And the memes on Bronny James is indeed aggressive watch my last video about this youtuber that was making fun of matt rife watch my video about alpha male youtubers and the recent one i just made about why the hate on the black community needs to stop jesus if i can talk thank you for watching bye bye peace Mwah.